Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Emporium Skills Training Institute for, for the welcome program with the recruitment team of Carnival Support Service India Private Limited. I am Aline Awomi, the Master of Ceremony for today's program. I, on behalf of the Emporium Skills Training Institute program, would like to welcome all the dignitaries from the Carnival Support Service India Private Limited, Honorable Deputy Commissioner the Mapur Government of Nagaland and Chairman of the District Skill Committee, Sri Rajesh Saundere Rajan, IAS, Sri Gideon Sumi, District Employment Officer, Government of Nagaland, District Public Relations Office, Officer, Srimati Lolano Patan, Retired Engineer in Chief and Chairman of Emporium Institute, Dimapur Nagaland, I. Meran Ayer, Officials from Nagaland Hotels and Restaurant Associations. Officials from Hornbill TV, along with all the media fraternity, and the Gaumbara and Council of Supply Colony, as well as all our beloved students. We, the Emporium family, would like to welcome, for your, welcome er, each and every one of you for your gracious presence this evening. Well, a little bit nervous as well as excited, but as we get along, everything will be all right, yes? All right, well, as in the chapter of John 14, verses 14 has clearly mentioned, if you believe in me, I will do it. And yes, he did it. This is the day, this is the very auspicious day that God has given to us. And above all, I would like to give glory to God for giving us this wonderful day and would like to give all the glory to him for giving this auspicious and making this first cruise job fair possible. Can we all have a huge round of applause, please? All right, now without further ado, let me read out the order of the program. Welcome program for the recruitment team of Carnival Support Services India Private Limited, that 28 February 2022, time 4 p.m. onwards, venue Emporium Skill Training Institute, Dimapur, Master of Ceremony, Ms. Aline Awomi, Invocation, Ms. Asheli Yatomi. Welcome, not Mrs. Temjin Kala Ayer, CEO ETCPL Nagalan. Fox Song Presentation, Emporium Students, Time of Presentation. Short Speeches by Sri Rajesh Saundarya Rajan, IAS Deputy Commissioner, Dimapur. Carnival Support Services, India Private Limited. Hall of Fame by Mr. Atrong and Jupito, the Institute of Music Education. Vote of Thanks, Sri Gideon Sumi, District Employment Officer. Official photo session, press interaction with Sri Anirban Mukherjee, Operation Manager, ETCPL, ribbon cutting and followed by Haiti. Now, to begin with the program, may I call upon Ms. Asheli Yaptomi, our aviation trainer, and also she is an alumni of Emporium Institute for invocation prayer. Well, good evening, everyone. What an auspicious day it is, right? Yes. I believe that this day would not have been possible without the grace of God. So I, on behalf of the Emporium family, would like to read a passage from the Bible, from the book of Philippians chapter 6, verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be met known to God. And the peace of God who surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Let us all look to God in prayer. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace through your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for this opportunity of fellowship, enabling us to meet at this platform. As we have gathered here for this program, we humbly invoke your presence to be in our midst. May your blessings be bestowed upon all the participants and also everyone here who have assembled for this very program. She's none other than Mrs. Temjin Kala Ayer, the CEO of Emporium Skill Training Institute, Nagaland. Ma'am, may I please have your speech? A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The foundation of Emporium is built on prayer. 
Today is a remarkable day indeed, a day of answered prayer for so many young boys and girls. Thank you for being with us on this very auspicious event. On behalf of the Emporium Skills Training Institute, Nagaland, I wish to sincerely thank our special guest, Honorable Deputy Commissioner Dimapur and Chairman of the District Skill Committee, Sri Rajesh Saundara Rajan, IAS, for consenting to grace this occasion as our special guest. Thank you, sir, for making time for us despite your very extremely busy schedule. On behalf of Emporium, sir, I warmly welcome you to this memorable day as we are about to celebrate and conduct the first ever international cruise job fair in the northeastern region of India. Also, this remarkable day, ladies and gentlemen, is a welcome program that has been arranged for none other than the Carnival Support Services India Private Limited, without whose belief and support this day would have never seen the light of day. With profound gratitude, I, on behalf of Emporium team, warmly welcome Sri Douglas Pimenta, Recruitment Manager. Sir, may I have you stand up and give you a round of applause, please? Thank you, sir. Sir Vivek Koteja, Assistant Recruitment Manager. <laughs> Sri Yogesh Murudkar, Recruiter. <laughs> and the beautiful Ma'am Devi Laimayum, Logistics Coordinator. From the Carnival Support Services Team, India Private Limited. We are very happy and extremely honored to partner with the Carnival Support Services. This is a partnership that would create mass international job opportunities for the youth of the Northeastern region. Today marks the very first ever cruise job career fair in the Northeast region. Emporium is truly humbled and elated at the same time to be partnering with the Carnival Support Services team with a unified vision of bringing the global cruise ship job opportunities to our doorstep. I believe that our partnership will go a long way and we would continuously conduct more such uh, job fairs in the future. Thank you so much Carnival Support Services for believing in us. We assure you that, we would de that you would definitely find the right talent with great passion and professionalism who would suit all your requirements through this joint initiative. I would also like to warmly welcome Sri Gideon Sumi, District Employment Officer Dimapur, for your gracious presence on this historic day. You have always been cheering us on and appreciating our services. Sir, we are blessed to have your support always and guidance and we look forward to conducting more such events together. Emporium Skills Institute is an impanel training partner of the Directorate of the Employment, Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Government of Nagaland. Also, a warm welcome to Sri Yenito Su, the Gangura of our colony, for your present support and blessings on this auspicious occasion. Thank you, I would I call him Uncle. Thank you, Uncle Sue, for being here with us. A warm welcome. Thank you, Uncle, once again. A warm welcome to the uh, Department of Public Relations Office, Dimapur, for your gracious presence. Uh, we were expecting Ma'am Lolano Patton to be with us this evening, but unfortunately, she's not here with us but we remember her this evening along with, your, with her team. Thank you uh, to each and every one of you and all the friends from the media fraternity. Thank you so much for covering this event and making it a grand success. A warm welcome also and a special thank you to Hornbill TV for being our media partner this evening and covering this entire program and broadcasting it 
this, this very historic moment. We also have with us members of the Nagaland Hotels and Restaurant Association who are ever ready to help us in any job placement requirements, in any local job placement requirements. Thank you so much, dear members, for being here with us this evening. We are also glad to have with us uh, the Emporium Nagaland Chairman, Engineer I. Maranaya, retired Engineer-in-Chief PWD, who has always been a pillar of strength for us in every, as in every aspect and who is a mentor to Emporium Skills Training Institute, Nagaland. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Welcome, one and all, to this program. I won't take much time, just another two more minutes, a few more lines for all of us to, be, um, to, to listen to. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to make this, uh, take this moment to also highlight the, that the Emporium Skills Institute has made a mark on the arena, on the country's arena of skill development initiatives. We have undertaken government-sponsored training program for the youth of Nagaland, and we have been instrumental in providing employment to a state that has the highest unemployment rate in the country. Together with your support, together with your blessing, Emporium is committed to bring a change in the community and to be a part of a Build, to be a part of building a nation by providing world-class training and job placements. We are also proud to state that Emporium is the only institute in the entire Northeast region that is recognized by the National Skills Development Corporation as an India International Skills Center. We are now placing our students overseas. We have produced thousands of fine young men and women ready to take on the world of tourism and hospitality from our very campus with great passion and professionalism. Distinguished guests, with your eminent presence here this evening and with the grace of our almighty God, may this evening be sealed with divine blessings and favor for the future generation of the youth of Northeast India. Thank you one and all. Have a good evening. Ma'am, for taking this time. Now, uh, to take this evening forward, we would like to bring a life for you, a slice of Naga culture and heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is a feast for your eyes and ears because our beloved students are going to enthrall us with the magnificent folk song of Chakisang and Angami tribe. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the authentic Naga folk song, The Warrior Call. Nagaland is a state of many tribes, cultures, and traditions. Our state is known for its colorful and exotic tribes, still following many customary and cultural practices. Music, dance, and art, are a fundamental part of our everyday life events of all the tribal communities in Nagaland. The different tribes of Nagaland have their unique form of cultures seen in attires, language, music, and dance. It gives a sense of belongingness to the people living in the hilly domain. Music and dance are always presented in groups in every cultural celebrations and events. Generally, traditional as well as folk music are both romantic and historical, with songs narrating entire stories of famous ancestors and incidents. There are also seasonal songs, which describes various activities done in a particular agricultural season. The themes of folk music and songs are many. Songs eulogizing ancestors, the brave deeds of the warriors, and traditional heroes, and poetic love songs immortalizing ancient love stories. And the songs which we are going to sing now is called Warrior's Call. The song is composed in two Naga dialects of Angami and Jagasang, tribes of the Nagas. So ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and enjoy the most enchanting folk song.
and gratitude. Uh, the Emporium family would like to present a small token of love to all our dignitaries, guests present here. So may I please request uh, our CEO, Ma'am Tamjin Kala, and her beautiful daughter, Jatina, to please do the honor. from the Carnival Support Services India Private Limited, uh, Sir Douglas Pimenta, Recruitment Manager. Also have on stage uh, Sir Vivek Kotecha, Assistant Recruitment Manager. on stage, uh, Sir Yogesh Murutkar, the recruiter from Carnival Support Service. Devi Laimayum, the logistic coordinator. May I have on stage a Sri Gideon Sumi, district employment officer, government of Nagaland. Uh, 
can I please have any officials from Nagaland Hotels and Restaurant Association on stage, please? Gaumbara of Supply Colony, Sri Henitosu. on stage Mr. Atrong Sangtam from the Institute of Music Education. Thank you so much ma'am, thank you so much Jetina for the presentation. Uh, now it's time for these short speeches, and we are so honored to have uh, the, the, uh, the Deputy Commissioner, Dimapur Government of Nagaland, and Chairman of the District Skill Committee, Sri Rajesh Soundarya Rajan, IIS, in our midst today. Thank you. Uh, respected Master of Ceremony. Ms. Allen, Inspector Chairman of Sankodium Nagaland, Inspector CEO and uh, the Operations Manager of Sankodium Nagaland, my uh, colleague officer, District Employment Officer, officials from the Nagaland Hotel Association, respected Recruitment Manager and uh, his Colleagues from the Carnival Support Services India Private Limited, all invitees, friends from media, and uh, my dear students. Uh, very good evening to you all, and uh, first of all, uh, I convey my thanks to the organizers for having me here today, and uh, I have i heard a lot about Emporium Nagaland and of course I've heard a lot of good things about Emporium Nagaland. Uh, but uh, I never had the opportunity to visit Emporium Nagaland. Though Mr. Uh, Aniburn tried his best in the past few months to bring me here on different occasions, but somehow I was always giving, giving him a slip. But I couldn't do it any longer and then I, was, I uh, finally had the, this privilege of coming and meeting you all today. And, uh, and I am also delighted to learn that the uh, Carnival Support Services India Private Limited, they have uh, chosen the Mapur and they have chosen Emporium Nagaland to visit here and then uh, present this opportunity to our young friends, which is, I would say, a uh, very rare opportunity and uh, not, not every, uh, uh, not uh, very frequently we keep uh, getting opportunities like this. So, it's, I'm delighted to hear that and uh, uh, I was also happy to learn that this is the first time that a, that a cruise opportunity is being presented to our young students here which is a, a very good opportunity for all our young friends here. Uh, just in general, I just wanted to uh, share a few things what is in my mind and uh, having seen Dimapur and having seen the other districts of Nagaland and also having visited other parts of uh, Northeast in general. Uh, there's no, there's no, first thing is that there's no dearth of talent here, especially in the Northeast, especially in Nagaland and uh, Dimapur in particular, there's no dearth of talent. But most of the times what happens is that we don't get a platform where talent meets the opportunity. So, that is one of, uh, maybe of course, due to a lot of factors like uh, our geographical location and then uh, say uh, the, uh, since we are still in a nascent stage now of uh, skill development and then uh, uh, having our, uh, say, uh, sort of private employment in various other private sectors, 
So we are still in a nascent stage, I would say, when compared to the other states. But I'm very sure, statistically speaking, and then also you also would have seen personally, but uh, we are catching up fast. And uh, all our young friends who have been already to other places, in whatever sector they are, in uh, be it hospitality sector, be it uh, aviation sector, be it other, whatever other private uh, sectors and uh, places they have been, they have always proved time and again that they are uh, second to none in whatever fields they have chosen, in whatever uh, sectors they are, they are second to none. And uh, in fact, I was uh, sharing with uh, the CEO just before the program that I was recently in some place and then I was just talking to a, a, a GM of uh, one of uh, leading properties in that place. And then he was telling me that uh, uh, you, if possible, you give, an, uh, uh, give some reference in Dimapur, they would like to come and recruit people here for the hospitality industry there. And uh, he was telling that uh, he, he has never uh, come to Northeast for recruitment, but he said that he has uh, heard that the people of, uh, especially uh, Nagaland, and who were as he has seen working in the other uh, 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 properties he had worked in earlier. So he was sharing his experience that uh, they have a, a natural knack for the hospitality sector. And uh, with the least amount of training and uh, the persuasion, how, uh, say, uh, good assets they have become in the properties, whatever they have been working in. So this kind of... Uh, I would say the reputation and uh, the uh, good references what we have, I think we should capitalize and then leverage on all those things. And uh, uh, in general to my young friends who are here and then who are watching us virtually also, what I would uh, uh, like to suggest is that of course there is, a, there is always a preference for taking up a government job or any of the government sectors. Even though if you are paid less, what I have seen is that even if uh, the young friends are paid less uh, compared to the other uh, private sector jobs, but somehow there is always a preference for government jobs. But then you should also understand that you have also seen, of course it's all up to the personal choice of a person to pursue whatever he or she wants, but then there is already a saturation. There is uh, the, uh, uh, the government as an employer, it can only hold uh, say uh, only a sanctioned number of people. It cannot keep recruiting, and uh, this uh, this already that saturation in uh, the government sector. So that makes uh, the natural choice that is to turn towards the private sector, and also to pursue in whatever sectors you have that natural passion for and then inclination for. So and. Trust me, one can always grow, one always grows when he or she moves out, out of the comfort zone. As long as when you are, uh, as long as you are in a comfort zone, uh, unknowingly you get inhibited and then restricted by, by your choices. So the only way to grow and then the only way to uh, say pursue a passion is to move out of your comfort zone. So don't worry about moving out of your comfort zone and whoever has moved out of comfort zone uh, he or she has seen the maximum growth in life. And uh, once you take up something, the other thing what I have seen is that any sector you choose, any place you go, you go, you have to go there and then there is an incubation time for you to grow in that place and then to make a successful career out of it. The other word, this is what I have observed that people, really talented people, you go somewhere but then you are just there for a few years and then immediately want to come back and then do something else. So have patience, have perseverance, give that natural time for things, be there for a few years and then learn the tricks of the trade, uh, gain exp experience and then, uh, then automatically then you will have a lot of choices before you. First few years you may not have uh, much choices with you but then once you get that exposure and experience in whatever sector you have chosen, uh, you, you, you will become in fact, uh, like you will have that demand factor in the market. Then you don't have to pursue with people, in fact people will come to you after that and you will have a lot of opportunities after that. So have that perseverance and patience in whatever you choose. That's one of the observations I have seen and one of the suggestions what I wanted to give for the young friends. And uh, as I was telling, it's, a, it's, it's an opportunity 
uh, which doesn't present itself too often. So my young friends here and who are about to join in the couple of days, make use of this opportunity, make good, of use, good use of this opportunity and uh, you, have, uh, uh, you have been given training by one of the uh, leading institutes in the MAPU. So have that confidence in yourself, believe in yourself and uh, you are uh, you're, you're you're second to none uh, as I said when compared to people from uh, the other places as well. So make uh, good use of this opportunity and uh, I, uh, I once again take this opportunity to thank uh, the officials from the Carnival Support Services India for taking out your time and then visiting our district and uh, recruit as many as possible from your side. So thanks for the opportunity and God bless. Thank you. Sir, we are so glad that we have someone like you in our district whom we can look up to and who can inspire the younger generation as well. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, now I give time to Carnival Support Service in the Private Limited. Hi, good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you, Emporium, for having myself, my team along here. Aniriban, I know we've been in touch with you from a couple of years, but it, at last it made it happen. And thanks to Vivek, Vivek uh, uh, and Aniriban have worked very closely. Uh, I would like to say to everybody out here and, and, the, and the applicants who are going to come tomorrow, okay, the name of our company is Carnival Support Services. Carnival means fun, okay? So you need to have fun tomorrow, okay? Uh, yes, we are here to hire people, okay? I've always told my team, always find reasons to hire, not to fire, okay? so. We are here to find reasons to hire people. And of course, I have worked on cruise ships as well as in the office that I'm here. Uh, I have worked with a lot of Northeast uh, uh, crew members and we, very much with my colleague Devi, who's been with me for such a long time. I'm aware that you know you guys come with a great background, great work cultures. Okay, All we need to do is we're going to uh, have some baby steps tomorrow uh, with Emporium. Uh, guide them for what comes ahead uh, in the future because we are not looking at this just at an event this year but going forward okay uh, we normally hire a lot of people from India but they are from very uh, different regions of India for very common regions like Bombay the south of Goa or the south of India uh, we have a lot of programs within our company of diversity and indulgence hence we are here or to come and come directly to you and in Nagaland and Northeast states to take this forward. Okay, so we want to give you opportunities. So tomorrow, whoever comes in, you know, Anirvan, anybody who comes in, we want them to be just excited to be here. Okay, uh, yes, there are some standards to be met. Company has standards, but we will set the uh, the roadmap for you, and we'll take it forward from you. Okay, so come. Recommend all your friends to come and meet us. We are here to provide the opportunity. Okay, cruise ship job is fun. You get to see the world. Okay, you get paid and you travel for free. Okay, so that's that's the most important part of it. Okay, I have worked at sea. I, I got to see many countries, and then I'm working in the office. So there are a lot of opportunities. Even when you work at sea, once you finish, maybe if you make enough money, you can start something like Emporium as well. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much, and looking forward to see all of you and your friends tomorrow. Thank you. This recruitment would not have been possible if the Carnival Support uh, Service India Private Limited would not have uh, failed in Emporium Skill Training Institute. Thank you so much once again for providing a lifetime opportunity to us. And I believe, I'm sure that this job fair would indeed be a great platform for all the aspiring youth uh, for, of the Northeastern region. Thank you so much once again. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now let's groove into the Hall of Fame. A special number presenting by Mr. Atron and Jupiter from the Institute of uh, Music Education. Not sure. <laughs> right, uh, when we're doing the setup. Very good evening to all the beautiful people over here uh, and to all the highly designated bear present here. Uh, 
We would firstly like to thank the Emporium uh, Institute for giving us this wonderful platform to be here and you know sharing our music with you guys. So uh, before we start up with this song, I would just like to share a few things about this song. It's more like a song of motivation, inspiration. So I believe that everyone who listens to this song will be inspired and motivated. So this is Halloween. Respected Deputy Commissioner, who is also the District Skill Committee, Dimapo, Sri uh, Rajasundarajan, IS, team from delegates from the Carnival uh, Support Services India Private Limited, Chairman of the Imperium Training Institute, Dimapo, CEO, Training uh, Imperium uh, Training Center, Dimapo. Uh, media friends, invitees, uh, Nagaland uh, Hotels and Restaurant uh, Association, and my dear students. Thank you, Alan Master of the ceremony, for giving us uh, giving me this uh, opportunity to say a few words of uh, gratitude and appreciation. First, I wish to express uh, the sincere gratitude to our Deputy Commissioner Sri. 
Rajesh Sundararajan IAS, who is also the uh, chairman of district skill committee, for granting permission to conduct uh, job fair in Dimapur. Sir, <coughs> it is indeed, uh, we are indeed very much uh, uh, happy to have your presence with us as guest of honor. Your word of encouragement will uh, surely uh, inspire us to fulfill the dreams of uh, skilling division. Thank you so much, sir. Now, I wish to express gratitude to the Carnival Support Services India Private Limited, led by Sri Douglas Pimenta, Recruitment Manager, Vivek Koticha, Assistant Recruit Manager, Yagish uh, Marukdar, Recruiter, and Devi Limayam, Logistic Coordinator. On behalf of the people of Nagaland, I wish to express sincere gratitude to the Carnival uh, Support Services for having chosen to uh, organize uh, the job fair in Dimapur. We are indeed very blessed and thankful to you for bringing opportunity to the educated and employed uh, in Northeast as a whole and Nagaland in particular. It is our sincere uh, hope that uh, this uh, carnival uh, job fair would be able to create uh, so much uh, positive impact in the life of our educated youth. To the CEO and the chairman of the Imperium uh, Skill Training Center Dimapur, your institute have created and have uh, made uh, big difference in the life of the struggling job experiments. Thousands of you have uh, benefited out of your effort. So it is our expectation that uh, and uh, that the more successful program will be uh, conducted in, here in the Institute. The Department of Employment, Skill Development, and Entrepreneurship Government of Nagaling is so, we are so appreciative and we do recognize the your contribution in the nation building and <clears throat> we continue to look forward for more partnership in days to come. I would also like to uh, extend uh, our sense of gratitude and appreciation to the media friends for your consistent uh, continued support and contribution for making a uh, better place, uh, for making a better society. Please continue to build bridges for the uh, educated and employed especially. For the, please continue to build bridges for the present generation and future generation. So, in conclusion, I would like to conclude with uh, a word of appreciation to all the invitees, program officials, and with this for uh, with this few words, I conclude my speech. Thank you. A big response, actually, and we have a lot of people coming in from different parts of India. We are continuously getting calls from people saying that I'm on train and I'm, I'm in the flight, I'm in the bus, coming from different parts of the country for this particular interview. We have uh, people coming in from Kerala, from Mumbai, even from Mumbai people are coming in, Delhi, uh, Karnataka. I mean, people are coming from all over India. Not only people from Northeast India, even from people from other parts of the country are coming for this one. Uh, because this is a golden opportunity and we don't get these kind of opportunities uh, usually, a lot of people who applied uh, in Mumbai, uh, they they uh, they had this job fair in uh, Mumbai on 16th and 17th of February. They had it, but a lot because of the <coughs> huge rush over there in Mumbai, and you know number of applicants became so much that they had to you know shut down the registrations. However, those people who could not appear interview even after registering in Mumbai are. And some of them are coming over here, so Vivek sir, you might meet them here. So, 
that's about it. About uh, I mean, yes, we have a lot of people coming in from different parts of India. So we can uh, expect a good amount of people tomorrow, a mixed uh, group of people tomorrow. A lot of experienced candidates also. And yes, as well as freshers also with industrial training experience. Any other queries from anyone? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any target number for the recruitment? Uh, a nice question. Uh, the, ma sir, as uh, Pimenta sir has already mentioned, that uh, it all depends on the people, it all depends on you know the quality and the merit of people. It will be totally depend, uh, it will totally depend, the numbers will totally depend on the merit. So they have no such set number in their mind as of now. They have come with an open heart. So if they find all 200, they will take all 200. More than welcome. <laughs> More than welcome, they say. Uh, sir, yes, ma'am. I'm just curious, like, hmm. uh, why there is no target for a tar target number for this recruitment? And okay. Why this sudden huge recruitment taking place? So that. Uh, my sir and my friend Vivek sir will answer from the Carnival Support Services. Hi, uh, thanks, Anirban, and ma'am, thanks for your question. Uh, we at CSSI and Carnival Corporation are uh, very fortunate and very humbled to be one of the largest cruise ship companies in the world. Uh, at this point in time, we've got about a fleet of 75 cruise ships which operate at different parts of the world. Uh, we hire in large numbers from India, year on year, and uh, we were actually supposed to do this event uh, with Emporium. Uh, all plans were there in place uh, to do this in the year 2020, but then uh, we all know what happened. Uh, with that, there was a pause in cruising operations as well. And since the last few months, we've seen a very healthy uptick in business in cruising. And uh, hence, we thought this is a wonderful time to uh, reset our plans and uh, make our way to Dimapur to hire uh, and recruit as many as people uh, possible from here. And hence, there's no targets. Um, can you specify on the uh, primary basic requirements so that one can uh, apply for this or give the, have the interview? <coughs> the most important thing uh, for a person to appear for this interview is the person should have an Indian passport, should have experience, work experience. If not, uh, yes, there are some positions for wait, uh, I mean for freshers, but then uh, for freshers they need to have minimum six months of industrial training experience from a hotel. So, because these are all hospitality ranks for which the hiring will be happening over here in uh, Northeast Cruise Job Fair. So, the maximum number of people that will be recruited will be for hospitality positions, different hospitality positions only. So, we need people with hospitality experience primarily and uh, per, I mean people with uh, you know Indian passport. That is the basic requirement. Somebody who is physically fit and is ready to take in uh, challenges with a smile on their face. I mean, that is the uh, basic attribute of the hospitality industry. So, these are the basic criteria actually. And regarding uh, documentation, once the candidate gets selected, then the rest of the formalities like STCW training and all that, that all those things happens later on. I mean, they can do the certifications uh, which are required to sail basically. Those required certifications can be done after the selection of the candidate. So only those who get selected, they can go for those further training, which is required for uh, you know to sail basically. There is also a skills training, okay. which company will provide. Okay. There is also a skills training after selection. Uh, I mean for the sailors, which the company will provide. So. That is post selection. <coughs> yeah. Ma'am. Yes. Uh, I'm sure you must be knowing this. Most of us, most of the Nagas don't have passport. Mm. So, what if 
a person meeting the criteria doesn't have a passport? Unfortunately, uh, for tomorrow's event and day after tomorrow, we will not be able to uh, schedule or we will not be able to register them for the interview because to, uh, you know, to apply for this kind of positions, uh, we have this online application system with the Carnival Support System, uh, Support uh, Services India Private Limited. So, once the candidate, uh, you know, applies online, they need to have that passport details and everything and without passport it cannot they cannot apply for these positions so yes we understand and what you said what you said is actually true a lot of people a lot of talented people who do not have indian passports uh, would not be able to apply this time but then we needed something like this to happen once so that they realize that it's high time that we get passports so you know that is how we need to now really talk to our society and with your contribution, with your help from the media side, if you, you put it up in bold letters that, you know, if you need careers overseas, you need to look for Indian passports, you need to work on them. So we need your help in that area. That's, that's correct, Amit Man. Allow me to, allow me to add. Uh, the passport is uh, definitely an identification document. It is a unique identifier. And uh, let's not forget that we are all looking at applying for an international opportunity and a passport is the document which is required for such an opportunity. Right. And hence, uh, that is a requirement uh, as laid down by the company. In fact, I would also like to bring to you a kind notice that, you know, yes, cruise jobs, this is one, we are talking about cruise, cruises today. We have so many interviews happening continuously for overseas recruitment. A lot of people do not get a chance over here because they, they, a lot of students, they don't even know the importance of having a passport. So it is very important and it is very high time for, you know, for the media friends to come up with an article based on this, especially for people who are looking for overseas recruitment. It's very important. Hi, so yes, is there any age requirements for you? Age requirement is 18 to? 18 plus onwards to, I mean for experienced candidates there is no age, no such age limit. For freshers I think, is there an 18. 18 plus, that's it. They need to be 18 plus, they need to have, uh, you know, I mean, I mean they should not be child labor, that's all. <laughs> so we don't hire anybody with milk teeth, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any, anybody who is above 18 can apply with a passport, yes. I think, Anir, we have spoken about this uh, earlier. Yes. Um, in regards to job security, th does the uh, company, will the company give uh, some kind of contracts or bondage that needs to be signed for the, uh, for the uh, recruit, I mean, yeah. those, who, those who are yet, uh, those who are to get employed? And Douglas, sir, will take that? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, when somebody is hired and you know, is complying, and going on board, he will get an SCA, it's a C employment agreement, okay, with all his contract, his wages on uh, on the contract. He has to agree to that, sign it and send it back. Only then he will be sent on ship. If he doesn't agree, then you know, there is no, no contract between the company and himself. So the agreement will be signed by the crew member once he is employed. So it depends on the position. So some senior positions would have a six months contract or two months off. And uh, on the rating positions where people join at the junior levels, it is nine months on and three months off. So that all that agreement is mentioned on the uh, the contract before he leaves from India. Okay, may I know is there any recruits from the northeast at present in Carnival Services? Yeah, so oh yes, we have a lot of uh, crew uh, who are working in our company. Uh, from the northeast, not only from Nagaland, but from all these uh, sistering uh, uh, states. Maybe a number, an approximate oh, number. Oh, I please. don't have a number, but I will definitely okay. pass on the number to Anirban tomorrow. Okay. Uh, give me some time. I will find out the number of people that are from the northeast. Are you looking from Nagaland or from northeast? From northeast. From northeast. We will give you that number. I have my uh, very much colleague here from the northeast who works who worked with us on the ship. Uh, and is now working with us in our office. She has been employed for the last seventeen years. Seventeen years. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> uh, please don't ask me how many for me. Okay. <laughs> yes. Any other questions?
Add one more thing. I mean, yes. Uh, in regards to the security of the uh, uh, the employees over here, station. Uh, so if they get employed, so what is the secure job security that is provided by the company? Because uh, not undermining, not stating that uh, people have been, uh, I mean, facing issues in regard uh, when they are based outside. So that is the uh, stereotype that we Nagas have. So if one is posted outside, we will face issues like racism or whatever it is. However, do you, would, uh, would your company give any uh, job security in that, in that regard? So let me answer this one. This one, on all our ships, Carnival, we have a zero tolerance policy. So there is a lot of uh, issues that are discussed on board. Okay, crew members have, can go up to their HR managers or their team. We have a speak up policy. If they feel that they are, you know, they are getting bullied or any kind of uh, harassment, uh, it's a zero tolerance policy. So it's for everything, for all alcohol abuse, drug abuse, any kind of abuse on board. Uh, the crew members are, you know, are given a guarantee. But yes, if they are at the mistake, then they will face the, uh, you know, of course, whatever action is required by the ship. But when it comes to job security, as in for continuous employment, if I was to add. It's all based on performance. So you go on board a ship, you have to, they have to work and perform in the level that the company requires them to do and only that will guarantee them a next contract when they are on leave. So, no, not extension. When you come back, it is guaranteed that you will come back to work. Yeah. Oh, just one other. Renewal of contract. Hi. Yeah, so, I will split this question into two parts so that everybody understands better. The nature of employment on board ships is contractual okay it could be it could be a merchant ship it could be a cruise ship it could be any ship the nature of employment is contractual so like douglas was explaining some time back the entry level positions start off at a contract of nine months on board followed by two months of vacation and the vacation period does not mean that the employee is not associated with the company anymore in our terms, it means that the employee is at rest, okay, awaiting for the next contract. So that's the nature of employment. And as as with regard to uh, working on board, this company celebrates diversity. We absolutely have been in the industry. The company has been in the industry for many, many, many years, and there are very robust policies, procedures, and processes which respect everybody from every part of the world. We are not just talking about India, we are talking about every country in the world. So, absolutely no worries there at all. And uh, I'm sure anybody who joins any brand of Carnival Corporation would really enjoy and would have a lot of self-respect and uh, progress in career. Services India uh, Private Limited has come all the way from Mumbai to Nagaland to provide world class job opportunities which are dream for a lot of people across the country uh, when the you know when we, when we first started talking with the Carnival Support Services India Private Limited and we, we started discussing about this job fair uh, a lot of uh, problems issues came including the uh, you know pandemic uh, because of that it got delayed for 2 years but then finally it is happening and a lot of people from all over the country uh, is responding and they are continuously sending us messages and uh, they are continuously applying online. Our phones are ringing non-stop from the day the ads have come out. So all thanks to the Carnival Support Services India Limited team for giving us the opportunity to serve you with skilled manpower from the Northeast India. Thank you so much once again, sir. With that, we conclude the program. Thank you so much from the... Uh, media team, the press fraternity, thank you so much for being here and supporting us. Continue to write the good things and also the right information to the candidates so that they prepare with good documents and we get more people from Northeast working with these world class organizations. Thank you so much.
Skill Training Institute, Dimapur. Taken first of March, bro. Like the BC Dangor recruitment program, Julia Sivise, with a carnival, a carnival human resource, like the company Loti Milaikina. Imperium Skill Training Center, like the institute, like the CEO, Mrs. Tamjin, Tamjin Kala, Mikhan Lotesa, Mikhan Tailo Janibu. Imperium. Skill Imperium Skill Training Laga CEO Tamjin Kala Mikhan Lotia. I will Mikhan Tai Lotia. Detail Brazil. You can like the Imperium La M's objectives are to all our recruitment opportunity. Yes. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Okay, Miss Amikan Janu Paru to of Nigan La Imperium La objectives or M's to hear you first. Emporium Training Institute Laga aim and objective to us say ki Bachahan. Skills apart from their education, apart from the conventional education, skills learn Korean. Itu brahi employable ho karne itu ase kile mane aji kali kiman dangor puri puri libi kam na pay. So itu skills thagile na itu skills thagile itu brahi employable hoy jabo for the for the future of the child. Itu karne ami kan itu paryatak ami kan northeast de Aviation hospitality or cruise line, though you do, you do, Pachakan Bishi aspire Kura Laga sector as you know, Mohan Yede Dimapode, you do training institute Kulina, Achitakto, Iso Mormbra Bishi Balbra Jayase. It took of Nigan Kiman the applicants, Nuli Kiman the of Nigan Ita to recruit Kurise. For jobs, Amigan 2018 de Yete Dimapode Kulise. Of course, 2013 Brado. Itu Emporium, Kolkata-based company ase. 2013 bra government of Nagaland logo de kam kuri thagi she. To itu taikan government of Nagaland logo de kam kuri na ahi thaga do bishi success hua bichi de. Yate he khuli le he bhal hobo kuri na. Ami khan local entrepreneur kumba logo de tayab kura do. Itu ami khan log pai kuri na itu khuli she. Aro so, Ajitak 2018 bra Luigi almost 3,000 students hovuna ki training Luigi job placement spa in one of the you know uh, world class uh, companies kande hai amikan placement diya se Ajitak to. Mama amikan kitu ba idu press kande pai thay ki media the pai thay ki the bahar the kam patha pichhe the ta kan employer company kan pra workers employees kan ki exploit kudiya la. Apni kan la idu pra training lugi na jaa kan ki kiman secure se. Thank you for that question. Idu bichi needed question ekta se clarify kuro bolle especially in the public platform. Kile mane amikan emporium kan. Companies look at it tie up kura khando, itu companies khando labor laws, labor laws, HR department khan bishi strong thaka, aro labor laws khan intact thaka laga company khan look at it, ami khan bacha khando, itu laga companies khan de he, pathai, so that future de institute bhi diktar no hovo, aro itu concern bacha bhi diktar no hovo le karne, inne ka se. Nigan Calibra recruitment start ho la se, to itu dikhi man expect kura se, of nigan. Kali laga recruitment drive to itu bishi awaited recruitment drive ekta ase. Aji program di ko anishna 2020 March de thaki bolle laga recruitment drive ekta ase. But unfortunately pandemic para iku kuro bolle paranai. So response to bishi dangor ase aro itu northeast region karne khula ase nega mikan sob manu jane ase. Who will be response to north south 
east and west fanebra ahia se aji kalido it will be a huge recruitment drive kali aro porsun karne okay itu kimon ta middle class family noile a lot financially strong uh, stable na thaka family laga bacha kan ta kan bi nega dream to aspire ko thake holi bi nega training kan itu kan lo na pare ko kinemani institutes kan ne training institutes kan de bisi dam thake ko itu kan ki bi apni kan ki ba modot kan punjan na punche very good question bishi khushi pai ase the question hodia uh, karne itu ami khan uh, emporium training institute to itu uh, impaneled with the uh, director of skill development and entrepreneurship logode ase aro ami khan pandemic to hit nokora tak to free training di thagi she government bra free training di thagi she na iniga hua to unfortunately the pandemic to hit kura pichi de do it to stop stop ho jai she huili bi ha din de do aro of course aro iniga scheme do aro khuli bo iniga ami khan sob patiently aro to bishi high hopes they are say na for the economically challenged people economically challenged families huili bi good news ekta ami ami aro mukhan laga team bra ini good news ekta ko mon jado which kumba khandu janigena thakibo already huili bi itu ini itiado since yete hornbill through hornbill tv jani boli dibu mon jado ami khan itu training do bahar di do not less than 65 to 70000 hobo rupees for 2 to 3 months training yete ami khan nagaland de emporium skills training institute de 10000 Parabi ini hoy jabo to get the training, top class training loy gina placement pa bole. Ito kile iman subsidized rate the rakia sa kuli do. Ami kan laga agay de ko anish na goals and objectives to to reach every child who needs kun lage ito training, kun lage ito skills or unemployment. Ami han nagland de do highest asa country de. To ito kan sub babna kuri gina. Kinika accessible hobo itu training do kinika accessible hobo aro kinika amikan amihan la society di bi ki paribo na mikan bi service di bole towards this unemployment situation itu isap de that's the good news aro itu sif it's just ten thousand rupees for the entire course along with job placement. Amikan itu Imperium Skill Training Institute pra amikan jenis itu laga CEO pra takkan kini ka function kurese, atau kini ka unemployment kita takkan tackle kurese, atau kini ka tan middle class noyli bi financially unstable takkan kan kibik tan kini ka modot punca ese itu institute pra itu amikan report pula Imperium laga office pra loya se, my reporter Jiwan Rai with camera person Johnson for Hornbill TV. Thank you.